subscribe to Pravin Bosle on YouTube channel and press the bell icon for the latest video updates. Hello students, let today revise about law of limiting factor. It was proposed by F. F. Blackman in the year 1905 in photosynthesis light, carbon dioxide concentration and temperature are very very important for the rate of photosynthesis. As per law of limiting factor at a given time, a rate of photosynthesis depends on factor which is the lowest. For example, if optimum light and carbon dioxide is available and temperature is very low, then rate of photosynthesis will be controlled by temperature. Increase in the temperature, there will be increase in the rate of photosynthesis and then there will be a steady state. So now this optimum light and optimum temperature and less carbon dioxide. Further increase in the rate of photosynthesis is possible only if there is increase in carbon dioxide concentration. So as the carbon dioxide concentration increase there will be increase in the rate of photosynthesis. But again there will be a steady state and further increase is only possible if availability or intensity of light increases. Thus at a time only one factor controls the rate and is called limiting factor. This law of limiting factor is applicable to any biochemical reaction. It states that if a chemical biochemical process is affected by more than one factor then the rate will be determined by the factor which is nearest to its minimum value. It is the factor which directly affect the rate if its quantity is changed. 